Hi everybody, Paul here again from Ballistic Blood Bullets and back to horror roots and looking at old school videotape VHS horror covers, favourite covers and uh, one of the big reasons behind this video is as an entry into TP20's contest to win a videotape of the film VHS. Now you all know Tyler and uh, I'm sure that a lot of you will have already entered the contest but I uh, highly recommend getting along to his channel and uh, checking out his videos and in particular for this purpose his video for entry into his contest to win VHS. Now it is a VHS release of the film VHS, that's a lot of VHS's to get through, <laughs> but uh, very cool and very generous of him because this is one of those ones that because it's a retro VHS tape it actually costs more than the DVD and the Blu-ray by quite a, quite a bit, but I watched the film VHS fairly recently and uh, it's not bad at all, it's an anthology film and um, not a great start to the movie, it's all over the place and you know, camera's jittery and not uh, fantastic for me but uh, some of the, the stories in the tale are very good and quite creepy and very well done so definitely worth watching and for collectors and film fans alike very much worth picking up a chance of winning VHS on VHS <coughs> Now what Tyler has asked for to enter his contest is to go retro and uh, dig out our VHS tapes. Uh, what he's asked for is for us to do an overview of our VHS collection. But uh, Tyler knows me very well and uh, my VHS collection I think is about 2,000 strong, maybe even more. So too many to get through in one video. We'd be here for days and uh, we don't want that. So uh, he's very kindly said that we can also pick out some of our favourites. So what I'm going to do is, is actually split into two videos and uh, look at uh, some big box horror VHSs which we're looking at now. I'm going to go through as many as I can in as short a period of uh, time as I can. And the second part of the, the video I'll post up a little bit later is looking at uh, my Japanese collection of some favourite horror titles on VHS as well. <coughs> but here we will look at the big box, predominantly uh, UK releases uh, from the old X rentals and some fantastic cover art as well. And we're looking here already at uh, three of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, and they all have very cool covers indeed. Now I'm going to um, just go through the videotapes and look at the covers and not uh, say too much about the films at all. You're all going to recognise the films and I, I want to really try and put in as many VHS cover arts as I can just for um, Tyler's contest request and also to, to share with you some of the fantastic cover art that is out there. So here we have some Freddy goodness and let's kick into looking at uh, some of my favourite VHS cover art tapes and starting off with Vengeance the Demon great classic movie great artwork there Lance Henriksen's the star as I'm sure you all know there is three or four maybe even five in these in the series of this now and uh, this is a good place to start uh, UK VHS big box goodies and uh, this, as with all of the tapes that I have, are in very, very good condition. But the artwork is what we're looking at and some fabulous stuff. So there's the first one, Vengeance the Demon, starring Lance Henriksen. Now we're going to go to some good old Spanish horror from the late 80s, early 90s, a film called The Rift. Great movie, undersea film. And uh, lots of creatures that uh, dwell in the deep depths that attack a submarine and they break through and get into the submarine itself. But very good old school style. This is right at the, the end of the 80s 
chain of great horror flicks from Europe and uh, this is one that uh, definitely is worth checking out and it does have some great cover art work there as well as reverse artwork as well but uh, there we are that is Spanish horror film The Rift okay next we have up classic horror film great fun for me this is one that Tattoo Doorman reviewed recently and uh, spoke highly about and uh, I definitely highlight that because Scarecrows is a great old school movie late 80s again <coughs> William Wesley director he made a couple of movies in the director's chair but this is a great one very atmospheric very very cool use of sound some good effects low budget movie but extremely well done and Scarecrows is one of those late night finds on TV if you find you keep watching and think what the heck is this and you love it and it is a very cool piece of cover art as well Scarecrows okay next up we go to a very familiar story and again great cover art work there Food of the Gods 2 yes this is indeed the sequel to Food of the Gods uh, this one crept out onto video during again the late 80s early 90s sequel to the classic HG Wells penned film of the mid 70s but uh, this is big fun as well and again the original film good film as it was special effects really don't hold up too well today so this one came along about 10 12 15 years later and uh, it's good fun it's definitely one worth checking out and uh, very much so for that front cover art work for again another UK big box X rental now to touch on a bit of sci-fi fantasy and there's always plenty from the Roger Corman stable and here we have a beauty in barbarian queen sword sorcery and lots of Tyler Tastic boobage great stuff lovely ladies lots of lethal weapons and more than their fair share of fantastical features Barbarian Queen as I say from the Roger Corman stable of goodness never go too far wrong with that <coughs> but again some very nice artwork and some good stills capturing the film on the reverse of the tape as well Barbarian Queen sticking with the sci-fi fantasy another classic for me and that is from WWE X wrestling pro star Roddy Piper Rowdy Roddy Piper famous perhaps most of all for they live but hot on its heels is hell comes to Frogtown and if you don't like this one you must have croaked already it is a riveting riveting film and it is totally totally cool artwork there really big big fun there is a sequel to this one doesn't star Roddy Piper and there's some director video sequels as well which really are not very good at all unfortunately but this one is where the goodness comes from and uh, it is all about the toadies up against Rowdy Roddy Piper and hell comes to Frogtown and sticking still with the fantastical another one of my all-time favorites again from the Euro stable Italian made greatness that is <coughs> the Atlantis interceptors Christopher Connolly 
stars in Ruggiero Diodata's classic, fantastical, futuristic sci-fi road movie that is so good. Look at the size of that gun. That's something to keep rowdy neighbours away from the doors. Really good stuff this. Deserves to be released on DVD. So long overdue not getting a digital video release either on DVD and or Blu-ray. It is just so very, very cool. Definitely, definitely worth picking up. And this is one that's not going out of my collection ever. If only for the fact that it's a great film, but for this cover artwork as well, that is just the business. Absolutely brilliant. And going from big guns to more big guns in the shape of the Barbarian Brothers. And again, this is another Ruggiero Diodato movie. It's in the fantasy sword, Barbarian, Conan the Barbarian mold type movies. And again, it is lacking in a proper DVD, Blu-ray release, English friendly, long overdue. But it is good, good fun, lots of action, lots of fantasy imagery, lots of savage violence and uh, some bodacious babes, but it's all about the big brawn of these two guys, the Barbarian Brothers. Good, good stuff. Rogero Diodatas, the Barbarians. Excellent, excellent stuff. Sticking again with the Italian theme, and going to another one of my all-time favourite Euro directors, Enzo G. Castellari. And this one stars Eric Estrada from Chips. You may recall Chips, and this one's Light Blast. Again, slightly futuristic. Actioner. Great fun. Very entertaining. Great cover art. Estrada puts in a good turn in this and he made quite a few movies in Europe as well after he'd finished making the long-running series of Chips. And this one's definitely worth your time and again it is one that is sadly missing from DVDs. We want it on DVD please. Light Blast. Okay to finish off with a few horror titles again just to keep in the theme and this one again is a European American co-production. <clears throat> this is The Bite and uh, this is one of two horror movies that were made around similar time and uh, as I say it is a collaboration between America and Europe, the Italians. Great cover art there and it's uh, Huge mutated snake, very much sort of a Lovecraftian horror theme for this one. And uh, it is a good, good hour and a half spent of your time watching old school 80s horror goodness. Great, great stuff. One to get under your skin, and that is the snake mutated the bite. Definitely one to get your teeth into. And the partner to the bite is a movie called The Curse. And this is definitely Lovecraftian in nature. Very much horror film styled from the 80s and this one is purported to be actually have been directed by Lucio Fulci. He's not credited as such, it's given to a guy by David Keith but I think I'm pretty sure I'm saying <coughs> excuse me that David Keith is a pseudonym for Lucio Fulci and this one is based on H.P. Lovecraft's Colour Out of Space and it stars Will Wheaton from the Star Trek franchise. 
and it is again very very much a 80s styled horror but it is 80s styled horror goodness and this along with the bite are two movies made back to back American money and Euro directorial movie making goodness supplied there we are, the curse and last but by no means least one of my very favourites UK VHS big, big box cover art releases <coughs> a classic film in its own right Knights of the Creeps look at that for good old rental store VHS greatness absolutely brilliant brilliant stuff I mean that is poster artwork to be hung on many a young guy's bedroom wall absolutely wonderful stuff <clears throat> and it is a complete wraparound cover art for this very well done very very well done indeed and it is a fabulous movie and uh, really pleased that this one was released to DVD and Blu-ray it does contain both endings the original ending and the alternate ending <coughs> both are very good and the film is quite excellent so that is Night of the Creeps wonderful wonderful stuff and uh, hopefully <coughs> excuse me meets with Tyler's approval for entry to his contest and uh, has been an enjoyable watch for horror fans and film fans alike and uh, this is the end of part one of the video uh, please tune in a little bit later for part two which will feature horror films on Japanese VHS but for now thanks for watching everybody take care see you all soon bye for now